this is Brandy. Um, today I'm going to show you how, oh, let me zoom out here. There we go. <laughs> today I'm going to show you how to get rid of blemishes off of your subject's skin. Uh, it doesn't matter what subject it is. It could be a baby, an adult, a child. Uh, this technique will work for anyone, obviously. Why did I even say that? Anyways, so I have a newborn baby right here that I took a picture of. Um, I believe it was last year sometime or January of this year. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so if I zoom in, you can see that he has pink skin like around the eyes, a scratch right here on his nose. Um, he even has a little bit of red, uh, red skin around his eyebrows. So I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that. So I'm going to go over here to spot removal. And after you click that, this is going to pop up. It's going to say brush, clone, and then heal. Make sure that you click the healing one. Not clone, but heal. My feather, uh, my feathering is at 100% and so is my opacity. And of course, uh, the size of your brush is just going to depend on the size of the blemish. So here we go. So I'm going to use my brackets on my keyboard to adjust the size of my brush. And all you do is, here, let me go right here to his nose. I'm going to click right here where the scratch is on his nose. And then voila, it's gone. It's amazing. So the circle that just appeared, you can move it around to find a, a better spot on his skin for the healing brush to copy and place onto the blemish. So where it was was totally fine for me, um, nine times out of 10, wherever Lightroom decides to copy at is usually fine. I usually don't have to change it. Uh, is very large so I zoomed out and what I'm gonna do is click and drag and then there we go it looks looks fine okay so so far that looks like that was all. Besides this big old red spot on his eye, um, I've edited this picture before previously, and I tried my best to get rid of this red get rid of this red spot on his eye using the healing tool, but that just doesn't work. So what I did is I used selective coloring in Photoshop. So I'll have another video on how to get rid of redness in skin. So let's look at the before and after. And um, don't forget to get, uh, click the done button right here. So before, after, before, after. Yeah, that's about all I do. So like I said, I'll have another video up on how to get rid of the redness on skin using selective coloring in Photoshop. So I hope this helped you guys. Bye.